Hey fellow drummers, hope you're doing well today. I'm here to talk with you about how to find a drum teacher. Uh, there's a ton of drum teachers all over the place and any kind of store will probably offer some private instruction. You can also get lessons through various new trade schools, uh, drum schools. But what I think is most important is realizing that you're trying to get a instructor regardless of the school or store or institution for that matter it's the individual that you're really after so I've come up with some things that I think you might want to consider when trying to make a decision on which instructor to take lessons from um, I think one of the very first things most people are always in need of finding out is how much do these lessons cost so budget is number one and my response to that is are you seeking the most inexpensive drum lessons or a certain quality of instructor so we have this quality versus price issue and in the end, what you want to gain, of course, is results. So you may be paying more for one instructor than you would for another, but in fact, you might actually be paying less in the long run because there's a very high probability that that one instructor with more experience can teach you quite a bit more in a much shorter period of time than a less experienced instructor could over a longer range of time. So you actually would be getting more inexpensive lessons. The second thing is their experience. What kind of background education do these instructors have? Uh, some drum teachers have never even taken drum lessons. And I kind of think that's a prerequisite before you start teaching. You should probably have taken lessons to at least get some idea as to how to communicate the information. And I just think you'll be a more well-educated drummer if you've studied privately yourself before attempting to teach other students. So that's a very big factor, in my opinion. What kind of background degree do they have? Maybe they've gone to college and studied a music performance degree. So they're quite knowledgeable compared to the average drummer that only has through a high school education and has received a few tips from a band director that's a non-percussionist. Uh, so those kind of instructors really don't have very much to go by to offer you. And I think also the number of years of experience. It's important to realize that when you start, you're new at anything. And the longer you do it, the better you get at it. Certainly with teaching, there's no exception. The third area is their level of expertise. Uh, some drum instructors say they play and teach in all styles, and I don't really think that's accurate. Uh, they have dabbled in various styles, but they probably haven't really studied those different styles of music in depth. Uh, most drum teachers are probably more pop, rock-oriented teachers, and many have not really gone into techniques or studied all the rudiments and have studied other videos and DVDs or attended clinics or workshops, uh, let alone, as I mentioned earlier, having a college background. So their expertise could be somewhat limited. Uh, and you may be searching for a, an instructor that has a specific specialization, like a jazz drum teacher or a guy that's really great at blast beats and double bass. And for that matter, that's great. But if you want to do a lot of stuff, you might want to shop around for somebody that's actually had experience in all those areas or at least more than just dabbled. Uh, the other area of consideration is the instructor's personality. Um, some instructors are kind of harsh and they're not very gentle and I think it's very important to be encouraging to students. Um, it's kind of nerve-wracking to go in front of a teacher and play and then have somebody just tear you apart is what a lot of students feel like. That shouldn't be the style. Uh, we're there because we want to learn more from somebody who's been down the road longer so it really is going to help if you're more gentle and you find a teacher that's positive encouraging them. I've had many students that have had very harsh teachers in the past, so they make themselves very nervous to just go for it. So certainly, personality is a big component. The other thing that I think is also important is the facility. Uh, you know, a back teaching studio out of a store can be excellent, but there are some things I think that offer a more professional level of instruction. One of those is having two drum sets. Each student has to be able to play an instrument at the same time. It's very important because if you're going to demonstrate techniques, you need to be able to do so in a way where the student can mimic you or play along with you simultaneously. I think you need to have some practice pads. Uh, mirrors are very important because there's a lot of things you can observe just from looking down at your hands, for example. And video and audio recording should be an option if the student prefers it access to the internet so you can check out some different YouTube videos. Uh, many students will come in and want to be able to talk about something so if I can pull it up then I can watch it and I can figure it out and explain it and it's right there teaching them what they really would like. So all that stuff's important. It's also good to have a good resource library. I have a loaning library of numerous method books, DVDs, and educational videos 
and all that stuff is great, plus quite an extensive CD library too. So I always feel it's important to expose the students to as much resources as possible. So I think you should look for that in your private instructor. And probably the final thing that a lot of people don't realize is the networking component. If you have an experienced quality instructor who's playing professionally in the scene, who's hip to what's going on with all the various things in the industry, um, clinics, products, then you will actually get yourself aware of a lot of things that you wouldn't even think about. So you can be exposed to upcoming events, um, certain things that you might not hear about just from talking with your friends. And then there's actually the reality that you can actually get gigs because I've had students that have advanced to a level where if I might need a sub, I will recommend a former student and get them networked into the professional scene. So when you find an instructor, it's important to find somebody local uh, so that they can help you to network into the music scene. Hope this has been helpful, and I'll see you the next time. This is Gary Williams signing out. Please check out my website, www.drumsetartistry.com, for more information on lessons. And then my other website, www.garey.garywilliams.com, for performance information. Take care. Have a good day.